Hello everyone. Today we will be studying about sets, chapter 1 of class 11th. Set was first developed by German mathematician George Cantor. He has encountered it while studying problems of trigonometric series. He has also published various papers showing properties of abstract sets. Many paradoxes were also published by various mathematicians and logicians. The most famous among them is Russell paradox. Despite all these difficulties, the set theory is a fundamental part of present day mathematics. It is used in almost every branch of mathematics like geometry, sequences, probability, relations functions and many more. So, let us study what is sets. In our day to day life, there are various collections that we see such as collection of books of a specific writer, collection of students in your classroom, collection of months in a year. These all examples are examples of a set. So, what is a set? Let us see. A set is a well defined collection of objects. So, can we say any collection of objects is a set? No. Let us take an example. If I say form a collection of lucky numbers, then this collection will differ from person to person. For me, if suppose my lucky numbers are 1 and 2 and for you it may be 3. This collection is different for me and you. So, this collection is not well defined and hence not a set. So, a set is a well defined collection of objects. Some more examples are the set of letters in an English alphabet, various types of triangles, prime factor of 210 and set of letters in the word equation. In mathematics too, you have various examples of set like the collection of counting numbers, yes, the set of all natural numbers, the set of integers, the set of all rational numbers, the set of all real numbers and so on. So, let us see one question in which we have to state whether the following are set or not. See this first one, the collection of all months of the year beginning with the letter J. How many months are there in a year? 12. And among them, how many start with the letter J? They are January, July and June. So, yes, it is a set. Second, the collection of 10 most talented writers of India. Focus on the word talented. Again, this collection will differ from person to person and it is not well defined. Hence, it is not a set. The team of 11 best cricket batsmen of the world? It is not a set. The collection of all boys in your class? Yes, it is a set. The collection of all natural numbers less than 100? Yes. What will be the members of the set? There will be 1, 2, up till 99. And yes, it is a set. A collection of novels written by the writer Munshi Premchand? as we have discussed before, the collection by a specific writer, it is a set. A collection of lucky numbers, again taken before, it is not a set. So, here you can see the answers of it. Students, remember these points while moving further, that objects, elements and members in a set are all synonyms. Usually, we represent sets by capital letter and it elements by small letters. So, viewers, we are saying that the sets are usually represented by capital letters and its elements by small letters. So, let us study how we can represent sets are usually represented in two ways, roster form or a tabular form and set builder form. So, let us study how we can represent a set in a roster form. So, 
In a roster form, what we have to do is, we will list all the elements. Then, we separate these elements by commas and enclose within brackets, these curly brackets. These curly brackets are the notation of a set. As you can see in this example, prime factor of 210. How many prime factors are there of 210? 2, 5, 3, 7. So first we have list them all, separate them with commas and embrace them within brackets. Let us name this set as A. So A is a set representing prime factors of 210 in a roster form. Similarly, in the second example, the set of all letters in the word tabular. So what we have to do first? We have to first list all the letters in the word tabular. So they are T, A, B, U, L and R. Separate them with commas and embrace within the curly brackets. Let us name it as K. So again, this K is a set representing letters in the word tabular in a roster form. Students, observe these two examples carefully. Hope you have observed this following note. You may observe that order of the elements in the set does not matter. If you have written 3, 2, 5, 7, then this set is same as the above. Also, in the second example, notice in the word tabular there are two A, but we have written only once in our set K. This is a very important observation to note that all the elements in a set are taken distinct. Okay, so next observation. Any element A belonging to the set A is written as A belongs to A. Notice this symbol. This symbol is an epsilon, a Greek letter, and which represents that this element A is a member of the set A. Let us see in this example, T. Yes, we know that T is a member of the set K. So this T, we write epsilon K, where this epsilon is representing belongs to. So T is belonging to the set K. Now see in this K, 4. We know that 4 is not a prime factor of 210 and it does not belongs to the set K. A. So, we will write belongs epsilon with a slash which is representing does not belong to. Okay. So, 4 does not belong to A and in this case T belongs to K. Hope you have understood how to represent a set in a roster form. So, now let us study how we can represent a set in a set builder form. Set builder form in this, we write all the elements of a set which possesses a single property and no other element possesses that same property outside that set. Note these points. These are the steps through which we represent a set in a set builder form. First, we describe the elements with a symbol X, a small letter as we have described and discussed. It can be any X, Y, Z. Next, we write a colon. Then, the property which is possessed by each element of the set. And then, the description is again written within the braces, that is the curly brackets. See the example. In this example A, how many elements are there? 1 by 4, 1 by 9, 1 by 6, 1 by 25. There are 4 elements. First of all, what we have to write? We have to represent all, the sim all these elements by a symbol. So here it is, X. Then a colon. We have written this colon. Then the property satisfied by all these elements. We can see that the numerator is 1. And the denominator is the square of some number and these numbers are coming from 1 
to 6. Yes, it is lying between 1 to 6 and all the numbers are natural numbers. So, that is what we have written. All the numbers are coming from the set of naturals. They are lying between 1 and 6 and x is equals to 1 upon n square. Whole description is written within the curly brackets. So, this set A is a represented in a set builder form. Let us take one more example. B is equal to 2, 4, 6 and so on. We can see that this is a set of even natural numbers. So, first we have to write it in a symbol that the elements must be written in a symbol. So, x colon property. What is the property? That x is equal to 2n. 2n is representing that the elements are even and n is coming from naturals. So, n is coming from naturals written in curly braces. So, this representation is representing a set in a set builder form. Now, students, let us just take some examples so that we can study how we have to convert a set from a roster form to a set builder form and a set builder form into a roster form. So, let us see in this example, we have to convert the set into a roster form. So, let us study what is given in the set. Let us name the set as M. In the set, we have given a set of all those elements which are positive integer less than 10 and this expression is an odd number. That is, whenever we put x in this expression, this value of this expression come out to be an odd number. See the students, 2 raised to power x minus 1 is always an odd number. For any value of x, 2 raised to power x will be an even number and minus 1 that means a predecessor of that number will always be an odd number. That means for any value of x which is less than 10 will be the member of the set m and what are these members? 1, 2, 3, 4 up till 9. So, before seeing the answer let us see this set as well. This set is the set of all those elements which is satisfying this equation and the numbers are coming from real numbers. Can we write this equation like this? Yes, we can write like this. This expression can be written like this and we know that this equation is satisfied by only three real numbers. They are 0, 1 and minus 1. So, this set is having three elements. They are 0, minus 1 and 1. So, let us see the answer. The answers are, we have already discussed, 2x minus 1 is always odd. So, for any positive integral value of x, this expression will always be an odd. So, the set m is equal to how many elements? 9 elements. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up to 9. In the second example, let A is the set having 3 elements, 0, 1 and minus 1. So, let us take one more example in which we have to convert the set into a set builder form. This is a set A. How many elements are there? 5 elements. Remember the points to represent a set into a set builder form. What we have to write? First, we have to represent the elements by a symbol. So, let us represent it by a symbol x, then colon, then the property. You may see that these elements are integers. So, x are belonging to integers. Also, they are lying between minus 3 and 3. So, this can be the property. Then the description has to be within curly braces. So, this set A 
is represented in a set builder form which is representing like this. Similarly, you can write this set B. B is a set having some letters which are D, E, V, I and L. So easy, we can form any word. So B can be represented X such that X is letter of word from the letters itself it is clear what is the word devil so this is how we can represent our set into a set builder form see the answer this is how we have represented a this case and b like this you may see that there is another representation of both the sets A and B. A can be written as A is the set of all those integers which is satisfying this property. When you satisfy this property, you can see that all the members of the set A is satisfying this particular property. So this shows a very important observation that the represent of a set in a set builder form is not necessarily unique. It may be more than one. As you can see for the second example as well, X is a letter of the word left. Okay. So let us take one question recalling what we have done up till now. In this question, we have to state whether the following statements are true or false. See the first one, 35 belongs to the set of all those numbers which are having exactly four positive factors. That means we have to see the factors of 35. See the factors of 35. How many factors of 35 are there? You can see there are 1, 5, 7 and 35. How many factors are there? 4. So this states that 35 yes belongs to the given set. This states that this statement is true. Next statement, 123 does not belong to the given set, where this set is the sum of all digits of y is even. That means if I sum up the digits of this number 123, then if it is even, it must belong to the set and if it is not even, it does not belong to the set. So what is the sum of its digits? 1 plus 2 plus 3, it is 6. 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 1 gives you 6 and it is an even number. That means 123 is a member of the set, but it gives that it does not belong to the given set. This shows that the statement is false. See the third statement. The roster form of the set, this set is given into a set builder form, which is satisfying the property that positive factors of a prime number P. We know if a number is a prime number, then how many factors does it have? 2, the number itself as well as 1. But in a roster form, how many numbers are there? Only 1. So that means the statement is false. See the second last statement. The set builder form of the set, this is given out to be this. That means we have to see whether all the members of the set satisfying the given property. First we know that the numbers are in fraction. So yes, it is written in a fraction. The numerator is lying between 1 and 4 as well as it is also taking values 1 and 4. So n is 1 and 4. Also, all the values between it. So, it can take how many values? 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay. And denominator is plus 1 of that. So, it is written n plus 1. So, yes, the statement is true. This is the set builder form of this particular set. Last statement. Collection of most dangerous animals of the world 
is a set. Again, remember dangerous. This collection is not well defined, hence it is not a set. So, the statement is false. You can see the answers, here the answers are. So, first statement is true, second false, third is also false, second last is true and last the statement is false. So, students let us quickly recapitulate what we have done today. Today we have done a set. What is a set? A well defined collection of objects. Also a set is usually represented by capital letters and in elements by small letters. Set can be represented in two ways, roster form and a set filter form. In a roster form what we do? We list all the elements, separate them with commas and embrace with brackets. Remember what kind of brackets? Curly brackets. Set builder form, elements are represented by a symbol, then colon, then the property possessed by each element and then the description within braces. Order of the elements in a set does not matter and lastly the elements in a set are all distinct. So viewers, hope you have understood what is a set, how we can represent sets. Thank you. Mm -hmm.